Hello everybody, thank you for taking the time to consider physical education as one of your option choices. I'd just like to spend a few minutes now taking you through the course. The course itself is made up of four components. Component one is based on fitness and the body systems. This will be a written exam for one hour and 30 minutes taken at the end of year 11. Uh, the exam itself is worth 80 marks and is 36% uh, of your overall qualification. The exam is split into four topic areas um, and you are assessed on all four topic areas throughout this exam. Topic one is the applied anatomy and physiology, two movement analysis, three physical training and the four the use of data. This exam is made up of multiple choice questions, short and long answers, and then there will be one extended question at the end of the paper. The second part of the exam is component of the course is component two. This is health and performance. Again, this is an exam uh, that you will take at the end of year 11. It's for an hour and 15 minutes. It's worth 60 marks and is a total of 24% of your overall qualification. Just the same as the first exam, it is um, assessed across four topic areas, health and fitness and well-being, sports psychology, social cultural influences and the use of data. And again, same as the first one, you are given a selection of multiple choice questions, short and long answers and one extended question at the end of the paper. Component three for this exam is your practical performance. This is the bit that people are tend to be most keen on. This is a non-exam assessment. You are assessed through us during your lessons and then we have a moderation day towards the end of year 11 uh, where a moderator for the exam board will come in and check our marks. Um, it's 30% of your qualification and there are 105 marks up for grabs. There are 35 marks per activity. So you do three um, activities where you are assessed in both your skills and your gameplay. One of the activities must be a team activity, netball, football, handball, etc. Uh, one must be an individual activity, athletics, uh, singles in badminton and then you have one of your choice. If you are thinking about doing a sport that you participate in outside of school it is well worth coming to speak to the PE department or having a look on the Edexcel website under the specification to check that your sport is on the list from the exam board. Although the list is quite long not all sports that have a national governing body feature on the list. For example rounders is not on the list Cooksole 1 is not on the list, Taekwondo is not on the list, um, there's just a few that I, I definitely know are not on there that have come up in the past. The final um, component for this exam is your personal exercise programme, what we would call as your PEP. Um, again, this is a non exam assessment. This is a piece of coursework um, that we mark and a sample is sent off to the moderator. It makes up 10% of your qualification and there are 20 marks up for grab. So you will complete some fitness tests. You will highlight an area of your fitness that needs um, to be trained in order to see some progress and then you will plan your training program, carry out your training program over six weeks and monitor your progress and then finally you will evaluate your progress in your PEP. Things that we really want for people who are considering GCSE PE um, is a really strong interest in sport, both inside and outside of school. So inside of school, in lessons, you're always in your kit um, and you show a really big desire to improve your practical performance. We would also hope that you are coming to extracurricular clubs to um, push yourself that little bit further. And it really is an advantage if you do have a sport that you compete in outside of school that is on the list that we can put forward for one of your moderation. We're also looking for people that keep up to date with homework tasks um, and are organised with equipment and coursework deadlines. I hope that helps. If you've got any further questions, please do come and speak to any of us in the PE department and we will be happy to help you. Thank you.